Okay. Street's got a little hectic in there. But... We're relatively safe for now. And I gotta say... Yeah, this is a little different. Oh, I can hop the counter. Pretty based. This is far, far different than the original entryway into the apartments. I gotta say, pretty cool. I like how you head into this, like, admin office thing. Is this, like, his apartment? Pretty convenient. Can't wait to get my hands on a good old American handgun. Because as we saw last time, these guys don't fuck around. Excuse me? What are you? I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> hmm. Real funny that the clock should be stuck at that specific time. I'm going to see what's under this. Oh! Here? Huh, already? This is the... This is the coin puzzle. In the original game, you didn't see this until, like... Until you were almost done with the apartment complex. Okay, interesting. They put it... Huh. You know what? I gotta say... Just right off the bat, I love that they're putting the... The coin puzzle... Front and center. Right? I do like that they get they give you... They give you the puzzle... It's like you're going to like this dungeon you're going to be solving this go find the items for it instead of just like well okay there's good approaches to both ways because in the original you you were uh guided towards the apartment building and then you were just fucking walk around and figure it out yourself which has its own appeal uh, like obviously it fucking worked on me i love that shit But, uh, you know what? They're both good ways of introducing stuff. You know what? Yeah. Both ways are good. Call me bi Uh, Let's read the thing. Three bright coins, three actors in play. Yet within the shade, not one doth remain. The one once so gallant has fled from day's sheen. As far as he could from the icon of sin. The one whom he swore to shield in her life now lays in a grave far away from sight. Hmm. Interesting. And, the, and remember, I'm playing this game on hard puzzle difficulty. Fuck your TV. This is on a hard puzzle difficulty, so... Who knows? Maybe that... would give me a tough time. This is, yeah, coin cabinet. Let's just start fucking around in the apartment building. You see, in the original game for that for that coin, need a key for that. For that coin puzzle, you needed three coins. Three. I don't know if it's the same in this or not. I do ever know that the frame rate... Okay. One thing I definitely know now that I've been playing the game is that this PC port is very, very unstable. I can... I have a pretty fucking beefy computer and I'm running DLSS on, I think, performance. Yeah, I'm running DLSS on performance scaling, and I'm still getting, like, 50 FPS in some areas. I'm still getting stutters out the ass. Okay, I don't think that this is very, well, 
optimized. And again, I have a beefy as fuck computer, okay? I have a modern ass computer. It just and it can run games super fucking well. Ray tracing and all. Just not this one, apparently. Which I kind of feel might spoil a bit of the hello? Which might spoil just a little bit of the game experience, I think. Oh, I, ex I expect to get my ass kicked since I have almost 10 health drinks and two, like, syringes. Oh, let's hope hard combat difficulty means hard. Uh, I can't read that. Dear Madam, in response to your complaint regarding the gunshots coming from apartment 217, we've paid a visit to the tenant and he assured us that he does not own any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his words, we did not find any weapons or traces of using one. Should the noises persist, please inform the janitor. Sincerely, Woodside Apartments Administration. Hmm. Oh, there's the... There's the 2L! Or... Doesn't look like hell. What is, it? What is out there? Who knows? That door is locked. It's obviously locked. This stairwell looks really fucking nice. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Yes, James. Surely that is a human person. I have... Yeah, okay, I got the maps for all the floors. Good, there's, there's Fuerte again. I imagine that these are Unreal Engine decals. Because I, but one thing you got to know, I at least somewhat know what I'm talking about when it comes to Unreal 5. Somewhat know. I am like hobbyist at best, okay? I am actively learning Unreal Engine 5. Happened for a couple years now. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. And, uh,. I gotta say, it's it's really fun having that kind of, at least a little bit of insider knowledge when it comes to how this engine in particular works, because I can just I can just imagine like this room and like in the in the viewport editor, right? I can imagine very very vividly like flying the free cam. And I can see like I can see like the material editor for like this fluorescent tube, right? Making it like a light function or or an emission texture you know uh, like the graffiti back there i can see like i can see them importing like the the png or whatever they use for the decals and then placing it on that wall and art directing it it's fun that's why i think it's very important i want to see i think it's very important to know like how some stuff is made because then you get like the you get a you get a much finer appreciation for when everything comes together so well like like you could you could watch lord of the ring like the peter jackson lord of the rings movies and be like oh holy fuck these movies are like incredible right but you you watch those movies after seeing like the longest like appendices like the behind the scenes like documentaries made on them it's like holy shit this went from like uh, this went from like masterpiece to like insane psychotic once in a lifetime thing you know i think it's good to know like where where your media comes from how things work even in like a broad like crash course sense it's very good who would have thought that being educated on certain subjects makes you appreciate them more I want to see if breaking this window increases the brightness of this light on the wall. Okay, soak it in, audience. Soak in how bright those lights are. Actually, speaking of... What's my gamma at? 2.6? That's fine. Soak in how bright this wall is. And then I... Uh, oop. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know if it did, actually. That'd be very nice if it did. Oh. Oh, huh. Damn, that lighting is insanely good. Hey, guys. What do we have here? It's a flashlight. They're convenient. <laughs> I'm so happy they kept that. Hi, mannequin. Oh, you look awesome. Hey, guys. Hi, you look fucking rad. I just want to soak in your... Oh, I love the way you're animated. Hey. Oh, you make like weird like woman noises. Okay, I guess I have to be mean to you. Whoa, did you see that shit? Okay, that was like their grab. Ooh, ooh. See how this fucker's dodging me? Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit, you guys look awesome. Wow. That's a mannequin, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that is, in fact, just two pairs of mannequin legs stuck on top of each other. And a key you shouldn't have. Key for the shoot. Whoa, they're... F I can't get over that. That was really fucking cool. Really fucking cool. And I like that they kept in the jump scare. In the original. I'm sorry. Is the light actually... Like, bouncing off that mirror super hard when I turn the light on it? Lumen's so fucking cool, even though it is really noisy. These clothes. Yeah, they look familiar, James. Couldn't imagine why. Over here in the fucking doll maker suite. Slurp that up. I'm also a really fucking big fan of the noises the mannequin was making. Making like 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 vocal chops of like a woman being like ah ah ah. He was making like like insectoid noises like a s -s 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 -s, like bug hissing. That was really fucking cool. Oh man. Fuck. In my in my honest brutally honest opinion, much fucking better than the lying figures. Genuinely much better. Oh, that's room 201. Okay. Genuinely much better than the lying figures, in my opinion. Uh, because... Did it get darker? No, it didn't. It's, mo it's mostly just the fucking zippers. Two things bug me about uh, the lying figures. I want to see how far we can get up these high levels. That's their, their new zippers, which I think are dumb, honestly. And, uh, that one has a, doesn't have a doorknob. That no. It's their zippers and their arms kind of bug me. Because, uh, obviously, if, if you can't quite tell, the lying figures resemble very closely, uh, someone in, like, a straitjacket. A body bag, bed sheets. You know they have that. Uh, they're they look like they're like wrapped in some kind of sheet or cloth or jacket made of skin. 
right it looks like they have like a skin like over shield and their limbs are just still underneath but i liked in the original that their arms were more closer to their chest rather than like their belly or like their crotch right they like held their arms like a straight jacket like i mentioned so they had like a more like a more like rounded triangular looking uh top to their like torso which made which like when they wriggled around wriggle like a fish girl wriggle like a snake girl you know it looked a lot i think that's a far more striking much like better like silhouette for a scary ass monster and also i just think that the zippers kind of like spell it out a little too obviously like ooh this kind of looks like a ooh oh okay that fog is not getting dlss very good the, you know it's just think like the addition of like the zipper makes it look like this is what it's supposed to look like idiot you know i think it i think it spells out i think it spells out too much like okay like the little like the platform shoes they look great other other than those two things they do genuinely look great i love like the the gross i think i mentioned it like like the blood under the skin kind of look you know you can really tell that there's like a whole vascular system just underneath their skin i like how they're still like pale and gray like towards their lower extremities i love that they still have the platform boots I love how dirty they are. I love how much more obvious that it is that what they're spitting is like bile or acid or puke. Because before it was just like a mist, like a, they like gently misted you with like acid instead of like <laughs> at you, you know? I like that a lot. Uh, garbage shoot out of order. Please do not use until the problem is resolved. Well, there's your fucking problem. It's still full of shit. And like. 35 rotten banana peels <laughs> oh right to finish the finish the thought on the monsters uh, i i really appreciated the way that mannequin looked because well number one it's quite difficult to fuck up the the simple design of two mannequin of two pairs of mannequin legs right but also they, i just love the with the advancements in like materials especially in unreal engine 5 i love that they looked far more plasticky like you could see the sheen of the plastic coming off of them they actually like had reflective properties to them they had a yard sale cluttered house cluttered mind interesting you know like you could you could far tell you could tell far easier that they were this weird amalgamation of like plastic and like and cloth i love like the the wrappings around them like they were actually kind of being used for like clothes fitting also gotta say damn that courtyard looks good the way the the way the mist hangs about the upper levels of it, it hasn't quite like fully sank down yet you can just tell it it gets much thinner as it falls down to here then it gets thicker again the building just like disappears into the fog at the top there that is so fucking pretty uh basically monsters you're one for two i wouldn't i wouldn't say that that's a little too no no actually i would say Excuse me? Okay, Buster Brown. I don't want to know where you are. What's this? Oh, 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 oh! Good, they kept this in. Local sibling- Locaine siblings murder. Perpetrator commits suicide in custody. Walter Sullivan, the culprit in a recent homicide case, was found dead having taken his own life on the morning of the 22nd in his jail cell. 
According to the police statement, Sullivan's death was caused by blood loss resulting from severing his car carotid artery, the soup spoon buried two inches in his neck. Sullivan was apprehended on the 18th of this month on account of brutally murdering Billy and Miriam Locaine. Even though Walter Sullivan did not strike a former schoolmate from his hometown of Pleasant River as someone capable of murdering children, the schoolmate admits to having witnessed Sullivan in a state of severe paranoia shortly before his arrest. He was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me, he's gonna punish me, the monster, the red devil. Forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. He recounts. I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Walter Sullivan is a main... I'll say it like this. He's a main character in Silent Hill 4, The Room. And the two twins, Billy and Miriam, if I remember correctly, are like two spirits that like make... Uh, the monster of the twin victims in Silent Hill 4. By the way, the twin victim looks scary as shit. Definitely one of the highlights of Silent Hill 4. The monster, whatever that is, it's like right in there. Here's monster around the corner. Let me, let me trap myself. Are you, are you for real right now? Hey, who's in here? Dance in? Oh, weird. Whatever it was just fucked off. Nothing there. That right there beautifully illustrates why the radio is a genius mechanic in these games. This I thought for fucking sure there was something in there, but I couldn't see it. My radio knew it was there, but I couldn't see it. I didn't know. And it turns... It was a creeper this whole time! Oh, now I ruined the nice carpeting. Or... I don't know, I guess that kind of depends on your tastes. Hmm. Why am I checking the map? Go out into the hall. Uh, this flashlight doesn't light up. Shit. Yes, it wouldn't be a video game if it did. Oh, you gotta uh, hide things in the darkness. What is this, some kind of fucking horror game? Yeah, right, bozo. Room 109. Okay, well. Radio says it's chill. But the music cutting out kind of concerns me. Doesn't it concern you? My viewer friends. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the f- where did you fucking come from? Were you fucking hiding? The bitch? What the f- Holy shit. Jesus, God. And you hit hard too. Okay, I guess... You fucking hiding over here? How did I not see you? What the fuck? That's awesome, dude. Huh. I guess now would be a good time to tell you guys that, uh... In the original game, mannequins could stand still. And your radio couldn't fucking pick up on them. Are the fucking mannequins like ambush predators now? Are they gonna fucking like hide around corners and shit?
guys, I think I like the mannequins even more. If that's actually how, how the mannequins are going to like play and act. Uh-oh. I think that's fucking based as shit. Oh, especially if they're more like randomly placed in different playthroughs. Oh my god, guys. Guys, I think the game just did something better than the original. I think if the mannequins do like ambush you, then we have a we have a baller video game here. Is that oh the like opens back up here. Great. That's one thing you do better than the original game. Show me some more. Ah. Rude ass kid. James. What's the kid doing here? James Sunderland, I love you, man, but could you not have like put your ward your your ward your ward board through the bars there? It that totally would have fit. And it has like nails on it too. You could have easily dragged it towards you. Just saying, man, you didn't have to go through all that. Then again, I don't think James is in a very like good mental state like not just not just like in a like oh my wife is missing sense it's more like it he's like very much like in a oh there's that kid where'd that kid go oh well, there she went uh I'll be right with you, kid. Oh my god, that frame rate dip. I'll be right with you, kid. Uh, I need to go to James Cam. Oh, that's open too, and it's got fuckers in it. There's something down here this way. What you got? What the fuck are they doing out there? I do also like that they kept the super tight hallways. Oh yeah, I'm in a kind of a bad spot. There's some fuckers nearby. There's something in that room. I don't know if I picked that up. Is that? Second floor. Oh, second floor hallway. Oh my god. You freak asses. Why are you making more like human noises? Well, now I'm checking corners, because if these fucking mannequins do ambush shit, then nothing is safe. Nothing is, nothing is sacred. Um, okay. Redwood, a redwood piano. I hear they're quite lovely. Ein Sam Blumen by Robert Schumann. Here is where my experience as a band kid comes in. Uh, where the fuck is my metronome? I have played low brass for 10 years. I am a trombonist, if you don't know. But, uh... No, whatever, I don't have my metronome. I guess I have to... 96. It's, what? Oh, it's in 2-4. 1-2, 1-2. That's not any sex, but... Uh, 
Um, right hand is. Da, 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 da. It's slurred. It goes. Da, 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 da. What is this? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna Google this piece real quick. See if it's a see if it's a real actual song. Yes, that is real. Interesting. I'll have to listen to it later. Maybe it has some thematic significance. Any other? What is that? Is that plastic beach? There's that locket. Eighties dance songs are just eighty dance songs. How fuck do you fit eighty songs onto a vinyl? By the way. The 80 80s dance songs. You've got all your favorites. As in all the fucking ones you've heard before. Aw. Huh. Quite the artist. Little Benui's. Oh, but one looks really fucking sad though. That's fine. I'm fucking paranoid now. The duck in there. Thank you for the health drink. Even more Benui's? No radio. Is uh, it in here? I have to remember to look at that song later. Maybe there's like a music puzzle. Like the piano in the first game. Are they walking further down this hallway? That sounds much closer than last time. I'm just gonna go in here. Let me shut the door. Although we know that monsters can go through doors in this game. What the fuck is that? A mountain shrouded in mist. Or a cloud as it is very high elevation. God, these, these walls with the, the paper peeling off them look insanely good. Very authentic looking. I'm doing like... I thought that was a mannequin. It's just a couch. That's a couch, brother. Look at that chunky ass hair dryer. We got some nice little toiletry shelf. Break these. Yes. Hello? You're new and different. You're not a bad. I hate things that are different. Damn, the built in dishwasher? Shit, how many of these places had that? I didn't even... Okay, that's my light shining off the TV. I thought it was like showing something for a second. Okay, what are you? Huh? Excuse me, beautiful dress, by the way. What the fuck did you drop? An apple. Oh god damn it, Minecraft, we got to go with an apple. That is a f boxes. Hold on. Are the shadows picking up through like the lace in that wedding dress? No shot! That's really fucking impressive. Uh, I love... I love technology when it enables artists... ...to do cooler things. Uh, okay, this... There's definitely a figure in there. Hi! You going for a tour? Are you scheduled for a showcase? Ooh, fucking hell. Hey, 
hey dude, how's fighting you gonna work in here? Oh, you fucker. Ugh, I already took a hit from that mannequin. Damn it. It's fine. Room. Yeah, it's just a creeper. Chill out, flashlight. It's just a creeper. Is there a fucking mannequin, though? I don't think so. Yeah, we're fine. Hey, come here. You're not scary. You never were, you never will be. You keep teasing me with fucking handgun ammo. I would love to get said handgun. Oh, hello? Please deliver these to Mrs. Millie from 102. I'm really worried about her. She's been cooped up all alone with his belongings for days on end. She won't even move them, and God forbid anyone else touch anything. It's breaking my heart just thinking about it. Mrs. Millie from 102. Deliver what? These fucking hands? Well, that's what you're saying? You want me to go beat the shit out of her? Oh, maybe the basket. Is that like... Like flowers and cookies and sweets. Miss Millie from 102. We haven't gone there yet. So something... Something sad happened. Like her husband died or something? Kid? Hopefully not both, because that's fucked up and dumb. I hit a save. It'll be safe. I wonder if the game will... I wonder if the game still has a rating system at the end of the game. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if it'll like yell at me for saving a lot. I got a YouTube channel to think about, man. Okay. Forgive me. Forgive me for a second, sir, but... I gotta think of something. You know what? Let's make a stop at apartment 217. Because you know what? That has... Ooh. Oh wait, we don't have the... What that? There's number one, we have the key. And two... Yeah, he even marked it on the map, 217. Hmm. I feel like we might find a useful item and you're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're definitely meant to be posed here. That fucking breathing. Okay. God. The original game, the place would start fucking breathing, too. Like the building was fucking alive or something. That combined with, like, the, the tight hallways. This pseudo-breathing kind of feels like... Like you're caught in, like, the intestines of some bigger being. Or maybe it's veins. It's kind of genius because it makes you feel so much less in control. Because the thing like, it doesn't feel fucking real.
Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> hey man, what's up? Oh my god, I got chills. I'm so fucking glad they kept it like this. Oh, you look awesome. So this is Pyramid Head. Or the Red Pyramid thing, as I honestly like to call him more. Okay, they put him in a little bit earlier. And, uh... Oh, I got... Got that awesome chill feeling. Hey, guy. Fuck, with the new lighting. That red on him. Honey, you look gray in red. Matches your non-eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm quite chuffed. I'm really, really chuffed at that. Oh, man. I'm really chuffed at that. Hey. Don't go nowhere, big boy. Oh, it appears I can't even... Uh-oh. Hey. Uh, so I... I came back, I couldn't stop thinking about you, but I'm gonna take a little detour. To a laundry room. Holy shit, that's so cool! But that is... Exactly... Like how he... First appeared in the original game. Just there. Behind bars. Just silent. Oh, there's a coin. For the puzzle. I wonder what you'd had to do to get it. Hey, are you still there, big man? Yeah, hey, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just coming for a tour, you know, me me and the wife are thinking about renting a spot out here. Just, you know, just a little, like, starter location until we get settled down a year or two from now. Yeah. This music, hello? Uh-oh, guys, I think this game has sauce. I think this game has sauce. Fuck yeah. I'm genuinely really fucking giddy about Pyramid Head. Fuck, he's so cool. He he looks re his new model goes really fucking hard. Is that a big event? No, what is that? Oh shit, I know what that is. That, 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 that circular window looks really familiar Ugh, I can't think of it right now I don't I don't want to ruin the pacing right now because holy fuck this game kind of rules hello is this where a grandfather clock once stood I think so Hmm. Okay, so there's no clock puzzle in this game? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well with this hole in the wall, I can still go with my initial plan. That's different. Can I open the door from this side? No, thought not. That new bit of music was really cool too. Due to the ongoing renovation works, tenants are asked to keep out of the third floor of the building. Sincerely, administration. Oh, you even got to unlock the door. Okay, it just disincentivize exploration. Oh, I see, Bluebird, you make a shit game. I'm just kidding. I'm genuinely having a fucking blast so far. I didn't even check it or break this. No, just in case there's a fire. You know, you never know. These old dilapidated buildings. Some things could be really dried out. You know, there's a lot of 
mechanics and components that haven't been maintained in a while, something could spark. I'm just being safe. Aha! Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. More handgun ammo. Because... Da, 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 da. That motherfucker was lying! He didn't have a gun! Whoa. Am I crazy or is that kind of... Funny? James Sunderland, trigger discipline, motherfucker! Jesus Christ! In any case... Jamesy's got a gun. Hell yeah. Okay. That's a little bit... How do I swap back to the... How do I... Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, that's nice. For a second, I had a heart attack, and I thought you actually had to go back into the menu and equip items like in the original game. Okay, that's nice. And look at that. He was shooting the shit out of his walls. What a f weird... It was like this in the original, too. It's just like, what a weird little, like, story. Something that Silent Hill 2... Ah, that's bright. Something that Silent Hill 2 is... Does so fucking phenomenally... Is that like you feel like every room in an area has a story? What Jesus fucking Christ? <laughs> I should have expected that. I really should have. What the fuck? That was weird how it was like spatialized in my left ear and it like echoed. I know this is going to sound really annoying throughout this whole series, but that also happened in the original. I think that's the same goddamn sound, too. I think that is the exact same fucking sound, just spatialized differently in the engine. And oh. Completely threw me off course, too. Hello, sunshine. What do you have for me? Room 212. Got it. Oh, that shot's good. Oh my god. Who could have... Is that on the screen? Oh, it's blood on the TV screen. It looks like he saw the TV glow. Okay, I'm gonna stop making... I'm gonna, I will never make another reference ever again. I'm sorry. And it looks like our friend here... God. Something else that makes... Pyramid Head showing up right here. Genuinely really fucking scary. Is the fact that... Well, the fact that he's so silent, right? He doesn't do anything. He just fucking stares at you. And he... Peter? The walls are breathing again. But no, something that is genuinely really fucking scary about that is the fact that he is patient. You can tell by just the way he stares at you, non-moving, not doing anything, not even trying to, like, scare you outside of his presence. He is patient. He will fucking wait for you. And you, when you walk back, he's gone. He is inside the building with you now. You know he's there. And just from that one look at him, that's like an automatic you know you do not. You do not want to fuck with this guy. Yet, yeah, he's walking around with you. He's out there somewhere. 
could be around any corner, quite honestly. I mean, did you just hear how quiet he was? Uh, I, I don't know if you guys can tell. I think I really like Silent Hill too. <laughs> um, I kind of strayed away from the bottom floor here. Hope I'm not like. Hope I'm not like forgetting a. A key item. Oh, I don't know if I actually finished that thought, but I'm just gonna quickly re reiterate something that Silent Hill Two does. Re well, you're not hiding this time. That every room and every location feels like they each have a history, like they built it, like they said, like, oh, in this room, this guy was like going crazy, went on a bender and like shot at the walls and stuff. Then you walk in, you're like, huh, there's there's a kind of certain there's like a certain vibe, right? When you can like just kind of feel it, mostly in art. It's kind of like you can tell when something was made with a purpose, right? Made with a certain kind of feel to it. A lot of these room, a lot of the rooms in the original Silent Hills for like some fucked up shit happened in here. Even though in, there's like barely any indication or like Bethesda storytelling skeletons, right? To like kind of explain to you what happened. It's just a vibes thing. Piece it together. You test out a new gun? Hmm. You gonna fucking hide from me? Yeah? You can't hide from God when I find you, motherfucker. Where'd you go? Coward? Oh shit. Oh shit, what's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up? Want the smoke, bitch? Fuck you. Okay. I shot him twice and he's staggered. Which let me hit him. I guess I should call the mannequin cheese, shouldn't I? It feels more appropriate. Careers, humble beginnings. Seven. Sure. Strange photos. I'm sure those probably mean nothing. I actually don't know those are new. They could mean anything. Or maybe not mean anything. The fact that they have their own... Like... Th they have their own... Section in the... In the inventory. What is this? Here are some of the beginnings, and it's like... It's a guy who can't throw away his trash for shit. Okay, there's still... Something kind of nearby. Now, where Mr. Man stood. Oh, look at that! You see the little circular motions where they applied the adhesive for the tiles. That's cool. That's just a. That's not just a creeper. That's just a man. Stupid, dumbass, idiot, man. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, this combat is... Hmm. Very tense in these close corridors. Uh, right. Coast is clear for now. Except there's a fucking guy right there. They both so I have 26. We got him, use him, I guess. Okay. Shooting people in the leg stuns them. How Resident Evil 4 of you, Silent Hill 2. You know? I think... I think best friends can learn a lot from each other.
I mean, Resident Evil and Silent Hill were always two sides of the same coin. Well, that wasn't fucking loud. But hey, that opened up a shortcut. I like that. I like the addition of... Forgive me for saying it. Souls-like shortcuts like that. That's pretty great. Saves on backtracking. Um, you know, let's round out these last two apartments. Welcome home. Oh, I'm so welcomed. Like, honestly, is there anything else I should be worried about? In here. Are you fucking the air? Chill out, bro. Keep it in your fucking skin suit pants. I mean, I got a bullet. Might as well use it, right? Oh, you're a baby bitch. One shot, one kill, technically. Welcome home. Damn, that material in the balloons looks really good. Oh. You have no fucking goddamn Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! You need to... Wow, that fucking actually really got me. Okay. Fuck off, you little creep. Jesus! That's what I get for almost making a fucking portal reference in the year of our lord, 2024. Fucking hell. Some light bedtime reading? What a fucking asshole. Huh. That's what I get for being a little too cocky. Anyway. Yeah, that's one ruined ass cake. And oh shit, you got the whiskey though? Or whatever that is? Looks like some kind of liquor bottle. And that, oh, it does open up to the other one. 205. What was the apartment that had like the sad woman in it? I think it was on the first floor. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was one of two or one of three. That's what it was. I thought I would. Oh, you sure? But it was marked as in and out of all on the map. Ah, oh, boo. That's fine. I'll just get some more Unreal Engine 5 traversal stutters. Nobody tell Digital Foundry. What the fuck? You know, just a chain link hallway blocker, it's fine. What do we have in here? Hmm, what do we have in here? Is it uh, another mannequin? I would hate it if there was another mannequin in here. What's she looking here? Looks in stationary. What is that? Medi medication bills. Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'll take that. You don't see one. If I leap out over here. Okay. We're fine. Oh, is this where I put that? Oh, I like that. Being able to turn your flashlight while looking at something. You must think I'm cruel, but this prison is of your own making. The choice was yours. I watched you make it over and over and over again. This time's not going to be any different. And I'll be here, watching. 
Yeah, what the fuck happened in here? I think I've just jumped in at like season three. <laughs> like a three season show, man. Let's all put the apple in here. You have a peephole installed? What the fuck is this? This ain't in the goddamn critically acclaimed 2001 video game Silent Hill 2. And I can push it? Oh, you want me to fucking go in there? Someone had a fucking like jigsaw torture chamber in apartment 206. Let's just jump right into it. Oh, a fucking course. This is entirely new. What the fuck is this? Right where the rooftops pierce through the night. Left our homebound footprints with no owner in sight. But he has found a home. Oh, please pray tell. Or a... Or a river of memories leading right to his hell. Sorry? And what's here? Save. Oh! That's why there's right, left, right. Okay. So I guess the, I'm supposed to decode numbers from this. Right? Where the rooftops piercing right, left are home mount footprints, no one are in sight. River memories leading right to his hell. It's like, is this like ink or chalk or whatever reactive to light? That's what it looks like. So I'm going to walk around with the light off. I hope YouTube compression does this justice. Um, I have an eyeball. Mathematical symbols. I am alpha and the omega. The beginning and the end. I don't... Oh. What the fuck are you doing here? Square is almost like our safe point. Are you moving? Oh, because you're behind Link. I don't see anything. Maybe... Oh! Is that something? River 11? I'm gonna go off the assumption. Yeah, look at that. Look how it appears when the light shows up. Okay, I assume that's the river. And river is 11. River is 11. Something something 11. Don't make the funny joke. Something something 11. Oh. 13. 13 blank 11. 13 blank 11. There you are. 13 7 11. 13 accept? Okay. 13 7 11. Piece of piss that is. Holy fuck, that coin is big. Look at that, it's the old man coin. I wonder if the uh, pseudo-Greek on the border says something uh, again. If I remember correctly, in the steel key, right? If I remember correctly, uh, the Greek lettering on the border of the keys in the original was uh, a romanization of, well, I didn't want to jump right into combat, is a romanization of Japanese that says, that's, that like congratulates one of the devs on like their daughter being born. Or maybe it was like, maybe it was like the lead like art designer saying, no, that's what it was. It was like one of the art designers or like icon artists saying like, oh, my daughter was born on this day or this month around that. That's really cute. I wonder if it says something different now. 
or stays the same. Oh, I don't want to waste a bullet on a creeper. He should come to me and get his ass kicked like that. There's two more of the fuckers. What's wrong? You don't want to play? I don't see any mannequins. So I think I'm free to... Did you know? I don't know if you guys could tell, but I think that's going to be the gimmick for this... Uh, for this dungeon. Did you get stuck in the wall, big boy? I think big boy creeper got stuck in the wall. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to take this healing item. No, no, he's in. Hi. Uh, what are you doing here? Fucking Dexter kill room chair? American Psycho type shit? Second floor, small staircase key. Oh, oh, the one covered up in like construction shit. What is it called? Tarp. Plastic. I want to take a stop down at floor one. Check out those three rooms down there. Real quick. Real quick. I'll take the delightfully. Can that one you fuckers got up? The conveniently located staircase. Look at that, modern sensibilities on the dungeons. Oh, what is this, like a modern day remake of an old classic? Wouldn't be the first time. Let's hit a save too. While we're down here. Yeah, I'll come deal with you in due time. Hey, Buster. There's two of you. We also have 27. If I don't have to fight you, I would rather prefer that, actually. Can I just slip in here? Please, thank you. Is there a fucker in here? No. I think that's, I just hear the the two guys outside. Another, another like, uh, Polaroid Valentine's Day four. So, and cute little dolls. Dusty ass table. These mannequins have successfully made me paranoid about looking around every corner. Yeah. Yeah, it was apartment of an old woman and her husband died. Yep, that's probably them right there. That's sad. Did you lose him to sickness? I lost my wife to sickness. Or maybe not. Maybe she's here. Ooh. Hey, guy. You wanna... <sighs> okay, there was the other one around the corner, too. Hey, guys, you wanna come in here? Just for no reason? Yeah, that's definitely more doable. 
But just, you're not dead. Okay, I probably used a lot more bullets than I probably should. But you know what? That was a difficult situation, okay? Uh, he drew first. I felt like my life was in danger. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, does I? Uh, just one more. Can't even go in there. Wow, I made a little detour for exactly one little place. Uh, can I get into 103? No, it has the, it has the crossed out. Is that the admin's apartment? No, he lives in here. Uh, so yeah, I guess next stop is... Next stop is second floor, go through that hallway. I gotta say, uh, this area has a really nice flow to it. I really am enjoying how this is structured. It feels much like with a lot with how I've seen in this remake so far. A lot of it is genuinely very faithful to the original. But also modern enough to where it's it's where it's like it's it's fresh this feels like a new this genuinely does so far feel like a new experience on a familiar subject and i think that's a damn good thing for a remake to be you know same like same spine but sometimes different bones I'm just gonna run past you. Do the old silent hill test. Yeah, I didn't need to fight you. It would just feel plain mean. The frame rate shits itself, though. I'll tell you that the frame rate does not do that in the original. You could run the original on a fucking potato. Get that. Hey, why did the lock disintegrate, man? Why did the lock disintegrate? Why did you give me a save point? Are you gonna- What the fuck, dude? I- You chased me? Chased us over the west? They chased us over the mountains? Are you kidding me? You need to die, please. And I'm really gonna use a fucking syringe after you? Jesus, man. Where the fuck did you come from? Were you in this hallway? Fuck you, buddy. Christ, man. This is what I get for playing on fucking hard mode. Where would this go if I go downstairs? This goes where I couldn't access. There's only... There's only four apartments I couldn't get to down there. Let's... Let's head down and clear out the bottom floor. Can I get a healing item? No. Five bullets, though. I'll take that. fuck is that? Something's fucked up over there. I can hear it. Maybe it has a key in it. Good. I'll take that shortcut. What the fuck is down here? I don't like this fucking music. Yamaoka, you gotta explain yourself right now, man. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah, we're fine. 
It's just someone having a time. Hmm. Suspicious. Hey, I think someone needs hey, help in there. Who's there? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear. Hey, are you okay? I didn't do anything. He was like that when I got here. He... Oh, you mean the man back there? In the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill him. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, I'm not saying that you did. Look, my name is James. James Sunderland. Oh... Eddie. Eddie, okay. So, uh, do you live here, Eddie? No. I'm not even from this town. It's just... Something brought you here. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I... Well, they came at me. I didn't know what to do, so I ran. I came here. Figured it might be safe, but, but then I found the guy in the fridge. Easy, deep breaths. <sighs> This place, it, it's not safe. These things, and this whole town, there's something wrong with it. it. Might be best if you just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want to come with? Maybe together we can find a way out of this town. Oh, sorry, but I can't leave. Not yet. I. I need to find someone. Oh. Eddie, be careful. Yeah, you too. Oh, God. Yeah, lead him to his fucking agony. Eddie Dunbrowski, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I feel okay saying his last name. I don't think it... I don't think it gets like... Fully revealed or something like by name explicitly so I don't remember it does hmm hmm the old pig skin whoever lived here really loved their football I mean the shitty apartment here Maybe he could have gone pro. Maybe he injured his knee or something. Playing football. But, uh... Gotta say, first impressions. Listen. Listen. I love me my Eddie Dombrowski. I love Eddie. He could be a bit over the top. I'm getting getting the vibe. Holy shit, can this run Doom, bro? I get the vibes of a much more grounded as applicable, but also very uh, maybe maybe subdued isn't the right word. I didn't check this door out here apparently. Maybe subdued isn't the right word. It's a, it's, 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 this game just has a different, different tone than the original. So far. Not too far off. No, it's very comfortably within the same sort of area. It gets it a more, maybe grounded is the right word for what I'm trying to think of. In any case, I really liked Eddie's voice acting then. I... Hmm. How oh, odd. 
Holy shit, there's a lot of you out here. Um... Okay. I also both like and dislike how Eddie... ...is a lot more realistically... ...obese. He has a real... Brendan Fraser and the whale sort of look to him. Wait, nowhere near as severe as Mr. Whale, but still definitely there. What the fuck am I gonna do here? Do you fellas mind? Can you fellas sort of Chill out down there for a second. You don't seem like you're getting on my case. This would be the way out. The gate is open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hours outside those hours request assistance at the reception. Just what the fuck are we gonna do here? Where do we get out of here? door over there, the target? No, oh, but I really want what's inside that baby stroller. Shit, dude. There's so much concentrated, thematic, symbolic video essay material doubt here. Alright. Hmm. See, I have to kind of have to approach it differently here. It's kind of have to wait until they get the fuck away. Uh, maybe like right now? Maybe like right, like right now. What else do I have? 28. God damn it. They really don't seem to give a fuck about me, do they? I really don't want to risk putting up a huge all-out brawl. Really, I think I'm just going to wait until they get far enough away. Run in, get the thing, and get the fuck out. Ass uh, this is all assuming that the thing that I'm trying to get is still in there. Yes, it is. I can see it in there. Okay, just wait. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue, my friends. We sit here, and we wait for our moment. Chances are they still have to go through a whole ICU. Oh. Mm, not yet, not quite. Not quite, I'm kind of going out. On the limb here, this is a very brave tactic, I think. Break. Hey, maybe that was a bad break, gentlemen. They still don't give a fuck. You're not like passive or anything, are you? Okay, we have to be a little bit anticipatory now. Maybe they don't give a fuck until I pick it up. Damn it, would you random pathing just play into my hands for a second? Maybe I can get down like over here? They don't seem to go over here a whole lot.
That guy's staying over there too, right? Yeah, you bet your ass you are. Hey, Buster, just walk away from the stroller. Got it. Got it. Where the fuck do I get out of here? That big gator, that door behind this guy. Okay, I don't think you're any sprinting. Oh, perfect, yeah. Yeah, shove your fucking face in the corner, moron. Yeah, dumbass, I'm over there. Go find me. Go find me, buster. Oh, thank God I had a key in it. And that opens up to here. Holy, holy, that was nice. Look at that. Ah, oh, perfect. Hit a save. What is the... Right, what's the sitch? We still need one more coin. Where the... Fuck would that be? Still need one coin. Where? Right, the stairway. Duh. You go back to that stairway, we can just run all the way there. Yeah. Yes, because we didn't go up at the stairway. Guess we'll find the way to that corn. Because remember, it was in the uh, it was in the trash chute. We couldn't reach it. You ragdoll motherfucker! So I'll forgive you for that, dickass. Right, what does it look like up here? Free to explore, baby. Except that way, of course. And that way. You know. Need a key for this room. There's a hole in the wall there. Let's fuck around and find out. Can't tell what's in there. Maybe I can. Hey guys! I'm still around that corner. Okay. How do I fucking ambush the ambusher, huh? How do I out pizza the hut here? How do I sneak the king? Yeah, you're right there, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Think you're slick? Think you're slick, slick? You ain't slick. Never were slick. Get sundered by the land. Is that James's wrestling name? The land? It's me. The Sunderland. There's a big fuck-off hole in the wall. 
Can't rule out the possibility of there being even more silly little mannequin fellas. They're everywhere, you know. It could be you. It could be me. Hey, Buster. What the fuck, dude? James really just doesn't want to fucking... He just doesn't want to, like, actually lurch forward to hit people. I gotta stop using my gun. Oh, that is blocked off. Anything for me? For Jamesy? Swear to God, I thought that tube was another mannequin leg. I'm gonna have a fuck. I'm gonna have a fucking coronary, dude. I hear you, motherfucker. I'm trying to read, and you're in there fucking fapping for your life. Chill out, man. Now. As I was saying, I knows there is something here. I knows I can feel it. It all looks normal, but it's not. It's underneath, pulsing, trying to get out. Is it trying to get out, or should I get in? I have to uncover it, rip it to the surface, peel it off layer by layer so I can see it. I know it's there. I know you're here. Oh yeah, and you think you're slick. It's like, oh shit. You're acting like you can hear mom and dad's footsteps and you're out there playing on your fucking DS. Well before, well beyond your bedtime, excuse me. You know it's a school day, Jonathan. Hey man. Make the first strike. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, you little fucker. This is what you get for playing fucking Mario 64. DS. At three in the morning, young man. Do you fucking know how late it is? You know we can hear Mario every time you shut that fucking thing. Fucking snitch. He goes, bye bye Open up, he goes, it's me, Mario. As if he didn't do shit. You know what they say about snitches, Mario? Fucking hell. Something really needs to be done about the infestation around here. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, and fucking stay dead. These little bastards are everywhere. They are a sickness. What are you bitching about, radio? Okay. That's another fucking goddamn mannequin. Yeah, I just really didn't know what to do. Deer in the headlights, it was his first die on the job. His first die? His first die on the job. I scared him off real good, Jeb. Oh, that's peachy. Well, a syringe to make up for that fucker in the stairway. Fucker right in the stairway. You get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? I'm sure, someone likes that. Slurp that up too. What do you say? 
I was wrong, wrong, wrong. No, I wasn't. But I wasn't entirely right. I need to peel off more. Something more. Blood close. I was looking outside, but it is in me. There is someone inside of me. Buddy, that could be read like 15 different ways. You have to be, you have to be specific. Is this lead to? Oh, 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 that's the laundry room. This should be over the, where the coin was. <laughs> no shit, look at that. Bloody apple, can juice. Wow, they really did not want people to get confused on what to do with the juice here. They put it directly next to the fucking chute. You're supposed to drop it down. Four K can juice puzzle. The DLSS trailing on those was insane. But hey, look at that. We now have the third key. We can solve the key puzzle. Or the coin puzzle. Alright, who put their fucking baby in the washing machine? God damn it. Third time this week. Keep telling you guys. You need to care for your children. You know, you're supposed to run baths for them. Not like that. Washing machines are not baths, people. Sonic told me to be very careful around washing machines. Is that really all I can get up here? I think so, all the other ways are locked off. Okay, let's go get let's go get that coin. Let's solve the coin puzzle. Hooray! How long have I been recording for? Sorry, the game stopped. Holy shit, hour and 40? What's a little more? What's a little more? I'm having I'm having a great time with this. Oh, right. I have to go down. To... It's one floor down. Come on, man. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Me, I'm talking to me. Oh, it's just those guys. They're fine. Yeah, the coin was out here. This, hello. The woman coin. You have a cross in the back of you. Or a gravestone. It looks more like a gravestone. It was thicker at the base. I call my dick the gravestone. Let's hit a save. Save all our progress. Enjoy the James cam. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and everyone else, it's time to put my noodle to the foodle. We have three coins, three bright coins, three actors in play, yet within the shade, not one doth remain. The one once so gallant has fled from day sheen as far as he could from the icon of sin. The one whom he swore to shield in her life now lays in a grave away from his sight. Okay. We have three coins here. Those being the woman, the snake, and the man. Three bright coins, three actors in play, yet within the shade not one doth remain. Within the shade. Does that refer to the tree or the moon? Three bright coins, three actors in play, yet within the shade, not one doth remain. The one once so gallant has fled from day sheen as far as he could from the icon of sin. The one whom he swore to shield in her life now lays in a grave away from his sight. Okay, just just first impressions. Let's see if I got it right. Man, as far away from the icon of sin, 
Sin being the serpent, obviously. The woman who we swore she only lied from that was in a grave away from his sight. Right. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, look at that shit. His blade... He d okay. I should say, I noticed rotate. I thought I had that wrong. Apparently we have sides to put into account. In the original game, you did not have to do that. His blade strikes that which... <clears throat> excuse me. His blade strikes that which from the roots doth rise, followed by guilt and the mark of demise. The life he had once... The life he once had, he has left behind. Where once there was love, now a stone resides. It's another flip side. Like a flower. And I suppose, yeah, it's a sword on the other side of that guy. Okay. His blade strikes that which from the roots doth rise. Followed by guilt and the mark of demise. The flip side of the coin looks like a flower. His blade strikes that which from the roots doth rise. Sounds like flowers to me. Do we swap old man and woman? No. His blade strikes that which from the roots doth rise. Oh, or does sword go here? Followed by guilt in the mark of demise followed as in here the life he once had has left behind where once there was love now a stone resides the life he had once only guilt and mark followed by guilt in the mark of demise okay so he walked from here to here from the left to the middle so it stands to reason that follow By guilt in the mark of demise. Why would he feel guilty for the icon of sin? Followed by guilt in the mark of demise. Mark of demise would be a gravestone, yeah, which is what that is. Hold on. Which doth rise followed by guilt? Oh shit, here we go, okay. He kneels by the crown that casts a cruel shade onto the visage of her who did fade. By them not a soul, not a sight, nor sound, and yet evil slithers upon radiant ground. He kneels by the crown that casts a cruel shade onto the visage of her who did fade. Then not a soul, not a sight, or sound. Okay, that was a little easy. Far easier than the second one, at least for me. The beast that from death and decay had spawned. He who has failed, she who's now beyond. Now you pass judgment on figures of play in shoes where the burden of sin doth lay. He who has failed, she who's now beyond. Oh, so I choose who's guilty. The man, the woman, or the snake. I think I need to know a little more context about the situation at hand. I can't pass judgment on the burden of fucking sin just from a little, just from a tiny little riddle. Are you kidding me, man? Really just putting the weight of the world on my shoulders, aren't you? I'm not Atlas. Who am I to pass judgment? He who is without sin cast the first stone and all that. Well, the man, as far as I know, just like failed his mission to help protect the woman. Which, that's not sinful in and of itself. If he was out, like, drinking at the pub the night before when he was supposed to be on guard duty and the serpent killed her. And that would be different, but I didn't get any marks from that. I don't think the woman is at fault here. I guess the serpent. Room 201. 
That's just going off the information I know and I can infer. Now we have the key to apartment 201. That's... hey. You know, I... I was granted the burden of being the judge and the jury here. And I made my call with... that made my best call with the information that I was given. Okay? I don't know what else you could ask of me. I did exactly what you asked of me, actually. Apartment 201. Resting. Hey, I have a bad feeling about this door. It's, it's the... It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a surrealist piece with the... Uh, with the crooked visage way. It's called a window, asshole. Yeah, that's what I meant. What do you have here? A painting of a fawn. What, the lighthouse? Robert Pattinson, Batman? Ships on a stormy sea. Flowers. Um, what's this? It's a cutscene. You found the cutscene collectible. A handkerchief. Fucking hell. Oh, is this? Oh. Ugh. God. Well, I'm glad Bluebird didn't shy away from that. Oh, fuck. There he is. Oh, oh! What are you gonna do, James? I think he fucking knows you're in there, man. He's this cool. You're just gonna walk out there, release in the same room, man. James says, <laughs> Okay. That is the infamous pyramid head scene. Uh, mostly, I liked that. That's a nice sort of, that's a nice adaptation, I think. 
You know what vibes this game gives me so far? Uh, like, oh, duh, obviously it's a remake. But the vibes this gives me... This gives me the vibes... Of like a movie adaptation. I can't quite put into words what I mean by that right now. It hasn't quite yet bubbled in my head. I get the vibes of this being like... I, it has a very similar feeling to like a movie adaptation of something. I don't know. And that's like it's good. It feels like a good adaptation of something good. Something? Hmm. Okay. I really, really like how they kept his weird pyramid heads like weird jerky ass movements. It's weird like Jacob's ladder ass like twitch movements. That's cool. I'm glad they kept that in. Honestly, I'm just glad I'm glad that Bloober team kept that scene in at all, really, because of Come on, you guys know what it looked like. Right? Even though I know develop the developers know it. it's not actually assault that Pyramid Head is performing. He is canonically just like hurting them. But still, the visuals, the actions, the movement, it's clearly evocative of that. You know, what was what was the thing that like the game director said? It was like everyone is thinking of like sex and violence right and i think if we're going to just scare someone we need to be also thinking about sex and violence which like ugh. but okay i am of two minds of james after james shoots him i do like i i actually really enjoy the change of him of pyramid head just standing still and tanking that shit because in the original he did not he reacted quite violently to that it's blood on that handkerchief i'm sure that means nothing because in the original james shoots the fucker like eight times i think like bow 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 and pyramid head like freaks the fuck out and like looks like he's gonna like take down the closet doors, but then he just leaves. Which, like, has its own... It has its own spook factor to it. But I do genuinely really enjoy him just tanking it and staring you the fuck down. Right? Something I would change, though, is James shooting him. I don't know if this is just a me thing. I feel like he should have shot... I, think, I feel like the pacing of the shots should be a little bit closer. Instead of... Bow. 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 Should be more like... Bow. 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 You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just me being a little freak. I would have personally increased the pace of the shots. But that's just, that's just straight up like nitpicking shit. That is straight up nitpicking shit. I genuinely do really enjoy the changes there. I do prefer the original game's uh, presentation of Pyramid Head killing that mannequin. Because in the original game, when you walked into this apartment door, it's like the first thing you saw was BAM! As soon as the cutscene loaded, BAM! Pyramid Head is ripping that thing apart on the table. It is like a, it is like a jump scare, a sex jump scare, sexually charged jump scare. Boom! It's there. He's ripping that shit apart. One is laying on top of the other. Pyramid Head is you know, wrangling this thing's legs. It's not a jump scare per se, but holy fuck, it was surprising. You know, I think that fits the... Uh, genuinely, I think that fits the tone of what it evokes more. Personally, it's like, I think a better version of this cutscene would be the two merged together. The sudden boom, the sudden appearance of Pyramid Head. Holy fuck! Run in here, 
Hope he doesn't notice. Pyramid goes, what the fuck are you saying? Strolls over here. Bam, 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 bam. He tanks that shit and says, I know what you are, motherfucker. And then he leaves. Overall, again, that's a pretty great adaptation. That is a gr pretty great adaptation of that scene. That's no pyramid head. That's a door unlocked. Oh. Okay. That's where they put the fire escape. This little area used to be an old fire escape in the original that they took down when they built these other apartments. Hello, hello. I think we're in the Blue Creek Apartments now. Yep. Dingy. E even dingier. Even dirtier. Rustier. Peelier. Oh. Oh, wait. Is this, this is a mirror of the other room. I just noticed. So fucked up. Hmm. I think our big boy friend was here. Big muscle. Big muscle man. Big hunk of fucking... Hunk of hunk of burning love. Pyramid head was here. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. I'd piss in that toilet. What do we have? Is that a skin painting? I didn't know you bind in Necronomicons. That's such a fun hobby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've transitioned. Mm, we've gone beyond the pale, it seems. I think I feel safe in saying it. No, not yet. Hmm. Slightly different vibe. Slightly different vibe from the original Blue Creek Apartments. But I can dig it. I can dig it. So far, here we are. Three floors. You bet your bottom dollar. Here. Where are you? Hey, friend. Yeah, you're not an artillery platform. Come on. You act weird. Why are you acting weird? What's different about you? Oh my god, what the fuck? You're weird. Variant. Variant. Deviant. You didn't- What the fuck? Why are you so weird? Why are you so weird? You saw that shit. He didn't- It doesn't like shoot out an arc of puke. He like shoots bolts of puke. The fuck? He's got like glass in him. Andy had like a last stand moment. Are there different variants in the different places? Interesting. Okay. Now we know. The lying figures in here work differently. They have a last stand, and they shoot projectiles instead of just, like, arcs. Got it. Where can I go? Break a wall with this fucking 2x4? Right, guess so. 
I don't know. Hmm. Think you're scary, motherfucker? I know you. I know you're kind. I know what you are. I have no problem blasting the shit out of you. And there's another figure up there. With all these chain link supports, I can probably see a lot more mannequins a lot more easily. Let me fucking see where he is first, though. I don't want to run out there and fight the faker when there's a mannequin around. Because don't you know, I'm playing on hard difficulty setting. Because I'm a real expert gamer. Maybe he doesn't show up. Maybe he's a little too far. Maybe we can aggro you. Okay, get away! Yeah, yeah, they have a martyrdom. Motherfucker took a martyrdom in COD 4. What the hell? Okay. And their martyrdom lasts for a little bit. Good to know. Where are you, you pasty plastic fuck? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm sorry. Just kidding, I'm not. Fuck you. Die. Don't fucking moan at me. You freak ass. Oh, what a lovely painting. Ah, Goatsy. Interesting. Here, am I? The texture? Yes, it is. Okay, it looked like the texture in the bottom of that drawer was stretched. Mmm. Mushroom surprise. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. I appreciate how these different places play by different rules. That's good. That's genuinely really good. Hello? M. M for moths. You going, I don't want to step on them. M on door. Hey, I'm for mods. Interesting that you're out here. God, you could just get tetanus by looking in the wrong place here. Can't go into crazy 201. I'll check something real quick. Back in the- okay, I guess I'll, I'll let you do that. This one out. Okay, never mind. Just thought of something. Turns out I wasn't real. Lovely antiques. the red door red square thank god I'll s think I'll save there and leave this for now I think we just really I think we scratched the surface what the fuck is out here yeah I feel comfortable saying it now welcome to the other world everybody <laughs>